This is the new Ampeg SGTDI. And essentially, hmm, what's the best way to explain this? Well, on the box and on the manual, Ampeg claims that this is the all-in-one base box. And y'all, I'd be damned if I didn't completely agree with that because this truly is quite a spectacular pedal filled to the brim with all kinds of features, including onboard compression, two types of distortions, as well as aux in cab simulation, including you can put your own IRs in there as well. There is so much going on with this that is just such a great value. And overall, just the most important thing, it sounds fantastic. So Ampeg, really, what is there to say about Ampeg? I feel for a majority of bass players out there, you just say bass amp and the first thing they're gonna think is Ampeg because they've been around for almost 80 years now and they've created some of the most iconic sounds, amplifiers, everything in between that too. And I truly feel that the SGT DI is their real foray into that portable all-in-one preamp that Dark Glass and Sans Amp have really been dominating the market with. And it's really cool to see Ampeg come out with their own all-in-one that just has so many great features and great sounds inside of it. But before we dig into the SGT DI and for the sake of transparency. This video is sponsored by our good friends over at Sweetwater. I absolutely love working with these guys. They are always an absolute blast and so kind too. And one of the things that I really love about them is not only their exceptional customer care, but of course you get candy with every single package you get for them. And of course, as with any other sponsored content on my channel, this has absolutely no effect on how I feel, what I say, any of the sounds or anything like that in this video. I'm just a bass player putting some of my basses and testing this pedal out to see what cool sounds I can get. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So do y'all remember the SCR DI that Ampeg came out with a couple years ago? It was kind of a big hit, but to me personally, it sounded pretty terrible in my opinion. No matter what, I could never dial in a sound that I liked, and this is just for me testing it and having fun with it, but never just going ahead and buying it. Because again, I didn't really find a sound that I liked with it, especially with the scrambler part of the distortion on too. But the SGT DI is the complete opposite of that, where you can get so many different sounds that are just fantastic. So the first thing you're probably gonna notice about the SGT DI is how big it is. This is a really good size pedal to say the least, but when you get it in your hands and everything, it just feels so solid and so well constructed. So let's go ahead and go through the controls, starting with the knobs at the top. Going from left to right, you start with your volume and compression level control. What I really like about these knobs is three of them are dual stacked ones. So it's a two in one sort of thing. So it saves room on extra knobs and it just looks much better in my opinion too. So for your volume compression knob, the inside part is your overall preamp level output. And then the compressor knob is basically just an all in one compressor. That sounds really good in my opinion, but not for every single use, I think. Your next three knobs are your EQ section, starting with bass. Then in the middle, you have another dual stack knob that's mid and frequency. Then your treble EQ knob. And finally, your grit slash level control, which controls the amount of drive and output for your distortion side. Under the knobs, you have all these little mini switches that do a ton to your overall sound. Starting off with the cab IR selection, this is probably one of my favorite parts about this pedal. Not only do you get three Ampeg cabinet IRs from 115 to 410 to 810, but on the left side of that too, you can go from Ampeg's 123 to the user 123, where you can basically upload your own IRs, which I absolutely love that customization part about it. And another really cool thing about the Ampeg IR loader is you can adjust the low cut, the high cut, and the overall level of that specific cab too that you want, which I absolutely love that feature overall. 
Then you have a three-way switch for your ultra low where you can cut it, keep it at neutral or boost it. And then next to that is the ultra high where you can keep it neutral or boost that as well. And then finally you have your two-way toggle switch to go between the different voices of the distortion going between SVT and the classic B15 too. And then finally on the bottom you have your two foot switches to turn your preamp on and off as well as your distortion SGT on and off too. So as you can see, there are a ton of different options to sculpt your tone to get that exact sound you're looking for or really see what works best for either the song you're playing with or just the band that you're recording with too. On the left side of the pedal, you start with your lift ground switch that can help get rid of any unwanted noise going through your direct out. Then next to that, of course, is your direct out. Then there's a three-way switch to have Ampeg's cabs, your user cabs, as well as just having the cab simulator off too. And then finally, you have this knob specifically for the cab level too, which is just so cool to me. It reminds me a lot of Ibanez's old Tone Lock series where you can just push it in and then it pops out so you don't have to worry about accidentally nudging it or anything like that. Then on the right side, you have your auxiliary in that's both stereo and mono inputs, as well as again, one of those cool knobs that you can pop out to adjust the aux level too. And then at the top, you have your various inputs and outputs, including where you can just have the preamp out go straight into your amp and say you wanna have that cab simulation to sort of blend with your onstage sound. You're able to do that with the DI out in combination with that preamp out. And it's just so cool to me to have those options on board. For the pros on the SGT DI, I have to say there's a lot going on here. The sounds you get from it just sounds so authentic and so good to my ears personally. There are a ton of extra features and bells and whistles, such as that aux in, the onboard compression, two different distortion circuits, and then of course the cab simulation and user end of the cab simulation too that I absolutely fell in love with. As for the cons on the SGT DI, I think my main one is I would love to see an extra knob where you can blend in how much of that drive you want in your circuit. While you are able to adjust it pretty much with the grit and the level, I love the idea of just having it separated to where you can blend in how much you want that into your already set tone with the preamp. And one thing I would really, really, really like to see in the future is the ability to change the parameters of that compression knob. While you are able to use it as is, to me, it just sort of seemed more limiting than anything. Where I feel in the future, if they're able to implement some sort of software where if you plug it in, you can control how much of the ratio you want, the attack, release, all that regular things that you're used to with it, and maybe change what the compression knob actually adjusts, if that makes any sense. I would really like to see that in the future. But overall for the SGT DI, this is one hell of a preamp all-in-one pedal. And when Ampeg said it's the all-in-one bass box, yeah, uh, I'm not doubting that at all. This truly does have so much power inside of it, so much tone and so many sculptable options too to get that exact sound that you're looking for. And I had an absolute blast with it too. There's so much value in this box between the sounds, the construction, the features, everything. And it's $400 where this could easily replace your full rig if you want. And it's just so awesome to me to see something like this from a manufacturer like Ampeg. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the SGT DI and what other preamps in the future you want to see from different manufacturers. Thank you all so much for watching, as always, for watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing, follow me on social media, all that weird, crazy stuff. I truly do appreciate it, y'all. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters right here. Mwah, mwah.
If you wanna be like one of these wonderful people right here and help support the channel every single month, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank you again so much for watching as always. And no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, drink your water, and I'll see y'all next time.